Hello, my name is Sarah Thornberry and I serve as a teacher librarian at Springboro Junior High School in Southwest Ohio. I have a bachelor's degree from Miami University of Ohio, a master's of education from Wright State University, and a master's of library and information science from Kent State University. I also serve as a district building eye coach for Info Ohio. I have planned and taught many types of professional development in my school district and at the state level. These are almost always technology focused. I have been an active promoter of Google Apps since this was introduced to me several years ago. Besides leading large group professional development, I also train teachers in a small group and individual setting. I always try to design professional development that is succinct, easy to understand, and applicable to the unique situation of the attendees. I try to have time built in so that attendees have time to apply their knowledge as well as follow up. I would like to become a Google trainer for several reasons. I would like to expand ways I can train teachers in order to more effectively integrate technology, specifically using G Suite. I would also like to expand my circle of knowledge and collaboration through other Google trainers. Finally, I would like early access to the new products, updates, and resources from Google. For my tutorial, I want to look at Google Sheets and look at the image function. Probably most of you already know that you can insert an image in a Google Sheet. However, the image can be difficult to work with and being too large because it is not in the cell itself but floats on top. I have created a test spreadsheet with a couple test students. Let's say that I want to create a spreadsheet with student contact information with a picture. If I go to the insert menu and insert image, I look for a boy picture and insert it. You can see that image is huge and actually covers up almost all of the information. What I want to do is to use the image function to easily manipulate multiple pictures. The first thing that I need to do is to find a picture that is located online. This can be used for pictures in Google Drive or a Google image search. You need to copy the location of the picture in order to use it within the function. Let's find the image location that I have used before. I will want to right click and then copy the link location. Now let's go back to my spreadsheet. I will type the equal sign followed by the word image. It will then give me a left parenthesis sign. I need to type a quote, paste in the image location, type another quote, and then the right parentheses. After all of this, you will need to hit enter or return. Now you see the image located in the cell. I can now manipulate the spreadsheet like inserting a row without it affecting the image. There are some other options available with this function. If you look at my image, I can resize the cell and automatically adjust the image without losing the aspect ratio. If you want to resize the cell and image without the aspect ratio, you can just add a comma and two or three. Two is without aspect ratio and three is original size. This tutorial shows us how to use the image function to best use images within Google Sheets.